entire generations consume, disconnected by flashing lights on tiny screens. Why anyone would castrate themselves from reality was once beyond me. But now I feel like we won't have a choice, justifying the destruction of our own planet for personal gain, with the irony that we won't feel it, but our children will. Any child lacking ignorance of the world they live in is left with one choice for the sake of their own sanity. To escape reality, a series of events over the past 21 days led me to amend my previous will and testament. The courage and compassion displayed by my dear muse, Wischild, led me to leave all my benefits to another. Why build a kingdom where children can't play? I will not stand for this. He's gone mad. It's went, darling. What? He went mad. The Grump is no longer with us and as a result, not present. Even an educated baboon can structure tenses correctly. She's not even family. Why is she here? And a second cousin is. Shut your mouth. You said That's stupid. quite enough. After all, we do have a child in this room. Now, Warwick. Perhaps you can clarify. As far as I'm aware, you were the only person in the presence of Howard Townsend these past 21 days. What compelled your grandfather to make these changes? And who is this child? Well, explain.
That's me. That's my face. That's my face. This must be one of those games Warwick's mother keeps <coughs> complaining about, but it all looks so, so real. Who's that guy? Maybe he can help me. Whoa, I can run! I can run! Woo! Sorry, excuse me, sir. Hey, sorry, sir. I just, oh, sorry. Hey, sir, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Shh. Be quiet, imbecile. I'm watching the game. Keep your eyes peeled. What is this? Raddy, this is a battle. A battle between the clans. On one side you have the bloody cherubs, and on the other, the arctic monks. Each clan sets forward their strongest warriors. It's a battle for courage. Pain. And honor. This doesn't seem fair. This is what we like to call war. That was cute. <laughs> How disappointing. I tell you hit like a girl, but you really don't. Let's do this baby girl. Why are they taking it so seriously? This is just a game. A game! A game, you see! Can you smell? Can you hear? Can you feel? What is reality? Tell me that, son. Welcome to Illyria. Um, how did she do that? Well, hey! Wait for me! Hey, so what's a blank? Well, blank. Blank is you. Someone who hasn't chosen their character name or tape. You're what I like to call fresh meat. This is just all so crazy, so who made all this? Everything you see before you is coding using the latest EEG technology by a player known as Wizchild. But I need to go to a meeting with McClan now. There'll be others there who can explain everything else to you. Don't worry about it. So where is it? Takes place gathering great anywhere. Come here. Come here, laddie. So, each character that enters the game has to go and meet the watchers. <laughs> has to go and meet the Oracle, okay? Listen to me. And she's basically gonna show you her abilities much like the one you saw earlier. Uh, okay, never mind, never mind. But anyway, right now I have a clan meeting and unfortunately, my friend, you're not invited. Hmm. Uh, hey, Jeff! You'll be fine. Ah, Angelica! Who's the cutie? Hey, what is your name, son? Uh, Howard. My name is Howard. Howard Richard. You could have come up with something better. That's dry, Raph. You're supposed to choose a player name, but um, don't let his words get to you. They tend to be as sharp as knives. Say what you want, Angelica, but clearly this guy's not gonna get anywhere in this world. And look at him, he's clueless. I'd rather be clueless than ignorant of my arrogance, dry, Raph. Then again, why don't we find out if you're so certain? Let's... Narita? Who's she? Well, Narita probably has the most powerful ability here. As if. Don't get too excited, sweetheart. She doesn't sing for just anyone. Sing what? Your destiny. Sure, I'll do it for you. There you go, laddie. Look at you. We'll stand by you in a war 
are said to change the world. He lives for you. A God to us all. I see a hero haunted by death's close claws. Your sacrifice will bring you both to fall. That's a first. Uh, Jeb, Z-Man asked if your friend wants to join us. Hey, he does, Cairo. There's a lot you don't know about this world, Howard. You take a step up those stairs and it's a whole new world. <laughs> it's up to you, mate. It's only a game after all. Thank you.